All right, now I'm gonna share with you the drop down recording technique. So I'm gonna do Command Shift N to make new tracks. And I'm gonna make nine mono audio tracks. Then I'm gonna do Command Shift Down Arrow to add a new track type. I'm gonna go Command Right Arrow to make it stereo. Command Down to switch it to aux. And then I'm gonna hit Enter. My first track is gonna be the record track. I'm gonna click here on the side to open up the color palette. I'm gonna go Command Select to deselect everything. And I'm just gonna make this track red so I know it's my record track. Then I'm gonna select all these tracks and go Option Shift R to batch rename. Gonna go Clear Existing Name, add Vox, add Numbering, and hit OK. And now you can see they've been sequentially named. I'm gonna go Shift Option to set the input for input three on all the tracks, which is my microphone input. Now on my aux, I'm gonna name that Vox Mix. I'm gonna pick a bus that's not used, right click and rename it, call it Vox Mix. And then I'm gonna shift select all these tracks and then add option so all the tracks can be routed at one time. So while holding shift and option, I'm gonna to go to the output of one of the tracks, go to bus and select Vox Mix. All right, now all my audio tracks and record track is routed to my aux track. Now I'm gonna share with you some zoom commands. Control up and down arrow, will adjust the individual track height you have selected. Control option up and down arrow will adjust all the tracks in the session. Then control option command down arrow will fit all the tracks vertically on the screen. To fit everything horizontally, you're gonna to wanna to hit option A. So to get back to baseline, remember these two commands, they're very important. Control option command down arrow and option A. All right, now let me go over this technique with you. So I'm gonna do Shift R to arm the track for recording, and then I'm gonna hit Command Spacebar. One, two, three. All right, now what I'm going to do is hold Control and Option to drag down a duplicate clip to the track below to play it back. Control will make sure that I can't move the clip out of time. Notice I'm dragging left and right, but I cannot move the clip. Option will make a duplicate clip. So together, that's gonna to allow me to make a duplicate clip, but not move it out of time by accident. Now what I'm going to do is hit return and hit command spacebar again to play back the audio file while recording. One, two, three. So this is really, really important. When you are playing back audio for the client, you always need to be recording. Now do keep in mind, this technique is only for recording vocals. For recording other things, it gets a lot easier. So make sure when you're playing back audio, you're recording at the same time. This is so the client has an open channel of communication with you. Maybe they might be singing along or doing a cool idea and you're capturing that. And you have a visual cue to let you know that the client is talking to you. There's nothing worse than playing back a take and the client's trying to talk to you, but you can't hear them. So to demonstrate that again, command space button record. One, two, three. Okay. Then I'm gonna go Control Option to drag it to the track below, and then do Command Spacebar to play it back. One, two, three. So there's the first part of this. So all recordings you're going to be doing is on this one record track. Everything else is going to be used for playback. Now there's two different worlds with this recording technique. In world one, you're going to be storing every single takeaway you do in your record track. So let me demonstrate. One, two, three. Okay, we're gonna go control option, drag the clip to the track below, and then we're gonna hit command spacebar to play it back. But after we do that, we're gonna hit control backslash to store that takeaway on our record track. Now with this technique, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your record track is always highlighted. So what you'll wanna turn off is link track and edit selection. That means that if I drag a clip to the track below, notice that it still is highlighted on the record track. I'll demonstrate that again. So if I do control option, drag it to the track below, notice that my selection remains on the record track. That's because I unlinked them. All right, so now I'm gonna hit command spacebar and then immediately afterwards hit control backslash to store that takeaway. One, two, three. And now I've played back the audio for the client and stored that takeaway. And now if I ever need it, it's stored in my playlist safely away. 
If I ever need that take, I can go shift up and down arrow to toggle that playlist, and there it is. Now for world number two, where the client may not want you to store every single takeaway, you can leave link track and edit selection turned on. So for this, all you're gonna do, one, two, three, and then when you play back the take, you don't have to make a duplicate. You can just go control, drag it to the clip below, hit return, command space to play it back. One, two, three. And if the client wants the take stored away, you can just do control backslash on the audio track and store it away. Now keep in mind though, there is some differences here. If you store all your takes away on the record track, it gives you one location where all your takes are stored and it's in sequential order. I do recommend generally working in this way but some sessions are lower key and you may not need to store every single takeaway or a client doesn't want you to, so you can do this technique here instead. Now let me show you how easy it is to punch in with this technique. One, two, three. So I'm gonna drag this to the track below, set my marker somewhere close to the recording and hit command spacebar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I can hit command spacebar to play this back and drag it to the track below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you're gonna notice something that if I drag this to the track below, it's gonna overwrite information on this track and I don't want that. So now a very important command you're gonna be using a lot with this technique is the letter A key. The letter A key will delete everything before your playhead, as you can see. So when I hit record to play this back, I'm gonna go right before the audio Hit A to delete everything before the playhead, and then I'm gonna drag that down so I don't overwrite my information. Let me demonstrate in real time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Same thing, I'm gonna play back from a certain point, hit Command Spacebar, then hit A and drag it down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think you get the idea. So this essentially is a drop-down recording technique. Now there's many variations and you can adjust this to your workflow how you see fit, but I love this technique and I do find it very, very efficient for recording vocals.